Now looky here. Ain't that a bitch? Serena Williams, she quit in the final stage of that tenth fucking game. Ain't that a bitch? Well, I'm not calling that nigger a bitch, but she did cry like a bitch. Shame on all black people. She breaking down that shame on black people for quitting to a young white chick. Look at a young white chick. So skinny, so pale and white and weak. I'll make a big dinosaur for Negro quit. You know something? We white folks paid her off. And see, Serena, please make that young white girl win. Oh, she ain't got no name, you know. So let's give her some props. Oh, she's from the South. You know why we South folks are when coming down to that mysterious fruit hanging from a tree. Yep, we call that lynching. Serena Williams. How the fuck you gonna reach all the way to the tennis final and then you fucking quit? Not like you break a leg or you, or you may sprain an ankle. But I tell you something, that there's rumors going around that Serena Williams never knew she had a twin baby. They just found out last week that she had a half of a twin, another half of a twin. Still large in her, in her belly. What the fuck is this? Now, in a way, Serena Williams, we love you, because uh, if you uh, Google one episode on my wife and kids, where she gets started with a uh, not that Wayne's nigga, never even like him, never will. But uh, yeah, she gets started with a uh, one young kid named Turan Yishtak Elton, T O R A N. Yeah, Yishtak. Called. Got a little Jew inside of him. Last name is Hilton. It's why Hilton, not like Paris. Cause he trick him niggas, you know. Slave master say he ain't gonna be no fucking Hilton. Put a Y in on it. Yeah, put a Y in a Hilton. H Y L T O N. Motherfucker, we white folks so smart. H Y L T O N. Ain't no retribution for none of you niggas. Talking about we give net retribution to the Chinese and to the Japanese and to the Vietnamese and all kind of fucking these motherfucker. Yeah, 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 nigga, 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 nigga. Nah, I don't like him, but I love Rika Mouth. Yeah, you check out our that one episode of My Wife and Kids. You gonna see Ika Mouse's son, that little 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 little, little, little boy who got the best of both sides. Uh, Ika Mouse is his daddy, he's black, and his mom is so pure fucking white. But he play Romeo. Yeah, God damn Lee. Ika Mouse's son plays Romeo. And I tell you something, now Ika Mouse is proud of Turan. At three years old, he was reading the children Encyclopedia Britannica. Oh yeah, you can see that shit. When he was five years old, ah, skip kindergarten went first to first grade. We white folks here, what the fuck is this? Now we want to know the mom. He come out, that black boy, he's black a star. He's a star. Black a star, but he ain't really that head scared. A fuck on my genius. While Turan was in uh, first grade, he was doing that 12th grade mathematics. Can you imagine this shit? He got that fucking DNA. Now, them DNA still rolling in Kamala Harris, so she gonna run for president against them Democrats, and she showed him I win. She may sure be that first black woman or the first female to be the president of America because her mommy is Indian. Injun, we call them. Yeah, them Injun people now. 
the father of Jamaica. And how the fuck he meet some engine and pack him and get Kamala Harrison. What a long story. But let me make me a short story long now. G.T. Taylor, ah, fucker from Iria fan. You know that the dead to he came out? Yeah, about five years ago or something like that. Ah, he went to national TV and said, yeah, he came out. He's on his G.T. extravaganza. And, well, we had to get again uh, some part of Jamaica called, uh, 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 is it Manchester or some fucking place? Well, some place around there. Now, G.T. Taylor, extravaganza. Ain't that a bitch? That fucking nigga. I beg your pardon, G.T. Taylor. Respect of a nigga, but I love him. But anyway, G.T. Taylor was on national TV bragging how he came out and hasn't performed in Jamaica for 30 odd years and all kind of stuff like that. Mm hmm. He had him down there. He told Eke Mouth that Eke Mouth, you gotta be in the park by 6 30. Eke Mouth was there with a couple junglets, stuff like that. On 5 o'clock. Yes, Eke Mouth came to the fucking gate in his car. The cops searched him, turned him the up, upside down now. They heard that he came out, got a couple of rude boy junglers, so we gotta search that shit looking for guns. They found none. He came out and stole the park right over there, the parking lot. We from the stage, we performed. That fucking night, Bounty Killer showed up. That fucker sizzler, homophobic fucker turned up. Nesbitt turned the fuck up. And Beanie Man. An old bunch of them. Loot and fire. All them. All them rafters you see with them little fucking uh, piece of cloth tied around their head. About they, 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 uh, they, uh, what you call them? Them bubble dread. I call them big bumble dread. They, uh, at least most of them. Kind of like uh, Anthony B. You come off like him. Because Anthony B. ain't gonna burn no fire no Pope, come, <laughs> uh, he's smart one, I fuck him, tell you that Anthony B, he ain't gonna talk about killing the gays, long as you love Anthony B, now, Anthony B, you're a good boy in my book, in our book, I reckon, but anyway, he came out, was there waiting, 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 to go on the stage, at five in the afternoon, now it's one o'clock in the morning, and that bastard in front of a homophobic bitch, Named Bond Killer went on stage. Then he came out and was saying, Fuck, seem like when them niggas finish perform, the show is over. That's what about rap. Bond the Killer, he called that bitch, beat man on stage. <clears throat> I beg your pardon. On the stage, I shouldn't say on stage. We got my friend Winfrey Williams, I reckon. Yep. Then be the man he called on all. Nesbit. Then that little bitch, Nesbit, he called on that little bitch named Sizzler. Kalanji with that old M16 red, green, and gold gun. Why the fuck? He wasn't in prison. They found the shit. Embedded in the fucking judgment. Your judgment gonna be on all you bastard. Fucking dude, he come out. Now he come out, decided to go on stage. And when he come out, spoke to the, the, the guy who was supposed to handle Lee come out as CD because he ain't no live band, you know. This two big nigga. Big nigga. When I say big, big nigga, but they were flabby like a fuck, unhealthy nigga. They look at Eke Mouse and see what the fuck are you doing here, boy? A nigga? That's what they did. And to tell you the fucking secret that you didn't know? Them two big niggas were the bodyguard for a uh, beanie man. Beanie man, he ate Eke Mouse guts. Mm-hmm, yep. You soon get into that. And anyway, they say he come out, you ain't playing tonight. Being the man, he looked over and knew what was going on, and he smiled to see how them two big nigga 
threatening to push he come out off the stage. He come out there, fuck you, go suck your mouth, or we jungle is coming up and he come out his face talking shit and two little black bastard big ass bitch you fucking he come out a whole ton of jungle is come for you motherfuckers now yep he come out didn't get a play didn't get to perform a little bitch being a man set him up yep called so being a man remember that marcus garvey they showed him up and down at their old shit but he came out, fuck up the old show. He had a good fraster friend named I Saba too. Well, that's a real raster man, you know, I Saba too. I gotta give some props to Nannyville, yeah. And them bad old boys in Nannyville. So he, piece of shit, beanie man, motherfucker. What he fucking did to he come out. He and Nesbitt and Sizzler, fucking Kalanji and Bonte, fucking killer. They never let he come out perform. He come out ranting and raving and talking about shit. When he come out, got message back to G.T. Taylor. G.T. Taylor said, Mouse, I wasn't there and uh, I was away. You lying piece of fuck, a little. You fibbing. J.T. fucking Taylor. You know he come out not, a, not about. He ain't gonna perform. But were you pay by these fucking little bastard little bum mom more boys? Cause you're all afraid of them and you don't wanna have Eka Mouth and you show in Jamaica because if you got Eka Mouth and you show in Jamaica, you ain't getting no money boy. See Mo Joe John Johnovich, he was told by Gary he my father's Ross Records so you better never employ this bitch and he come out because he he bought a fuck up the reggae and you don't like us white folks. Yeah, crap. Joe Jan John a bitch, he soon called he come out. Joe Jan John a bitch. He ain't a bitch. No, he ain't a bitch, but I <laughs> Well my tongue slipped, so I called him Joe Jan John a bitch. White boy come to Jamaica and control the reggae. See him got from Reggae Sun's Blast, they were a bunch of fucking idiots. They never wanted to have that sound system night talking about it's the no old nigga. They call him old nigga in Jamaica, and old nigga made the worst nigga. They don't want a sound system and they don't want a street dance because it's not a part of the culture. But you see, these white folks, when they come to invest in Jamaica, they go all the fucking way, as he said. Uh, Gary Emufar, but Ross Record, now he invested in uh, jerk chicken sauce. <laughs> jerk chicken sauce, you fucking fuck. But I'll tell you one thing. So fucking happy. Now wake up and I'm gonna smell this fucking coffee.